Alrighty guys, Double A here, and you might see this as a, huh? Well, I'm going to let you guys know something. I'm done dealing with this stupid ravine crap back here. Every time I'm in here trying to get obsidian, I got crap dropping from the ceilings, just annoying the hell out of me. So, uh, I'm giving up on this for now. I mean, look, we got a creeper right there. Boom. I spent eight hours within two days trying to get this place to where I can actually you know do some work and keep mining and you know trying to get materials but look every time I turn around there's crap like this they just drop off the ceilings if I get anywhere near them and I'm done with it for now that is we will be back in here at some point in time but I'm making it safe I'm not gonna worry about it I also blocked off all of these little tunnels that we dug they're all blocked off so nothing can come through I might even uh, go back there and clear it all out just for the materials but we have an obsidian generator so instead of going out here fighting with this crap for the for the obsidian we have one right here we can make our own to make your own you need dispenser bucket of lava some water some redstone and a block of your choice with a button levers don't work too well pressure plates don't work too well button is the best way so you'll see right here we have dispenser it's going to push the lava out against the rock. It's going to drop down onto the redstone with the combination of water, lava, redstone. It will make obsidian. So let's give it a whirl. That happens every once in a while. So don't worry. To fix that, hit the button again. It sucks the lava up. Here you see the issue. So all you got to do, do like I do. Put a block there. It makes it go away. So that's exactly why I have this right here because if that would have happened here and you didn't have that there's a good chance that you could have died so every once in a while you'll have that issue no big deal just do it again so I'm going to show you just that this is obsidian boom picked it up so I've done this you know I've made f made five gates so far and well I've done it six times and four haven't shown up so I mean it's it's not a big deal it happens every once in a while it's not 100% perfect I'm still trying to see if there's a way to get to where it's 100% 100% of the time but I will show you guys how to make one of these for yourself so here you go okay guys so here we go we're gonna make our own for this we're gonna need a block of our choice which I love the mossy stone block now we're also gonna need some redstone which is the dispenser the redstone itself a comparator and the button we're going to need some water and we're going to need 10 buckets of lava so you have to have 10 actual buckets you can't just try to use the same one over and over even in creative mode so you're looking at 30 iron no big deal right it's pretty quick and easy to get so let me finish getting these and then we'll get started on it come on oh that's the longest part about this thing right here there's eight nine and ten Okay, so here we go. I start out three wide, one, two, three, two high. Now, we're going to go 12 long, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, for all three of the bottom and the two outside ones on the top. So these are going to be 12 as well. Close that end off. And this, this hole that we're making, this channel we're making, is where the water's going to go. I put the water in right away. Now, I made an infinity pool behind mine. That way I have somewhere to get the water from. So I don't have to keep running back and forth, you know, wherever my water is. Or to have to carry a bunch of water. If you do want to carry the buckets themselves, it's six buckets is what it's going to require. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now we have where our water is going to go. This row is going to get knocked out later on. But now we need to have somewhere for the water to get trapped because the water is going to flow down into this channel right here. So cap the end and bring us all the way down the same length with everything else. If you want to knock it out now you can. So you see how the water flows in there? Now it's not going over the edges so you don't really have to worry about it. But I'm going to put one here and here anyways. Now there's a couple different ways to do this part. I prefer to do mine the way I'm going to show you, which is up one and out two. And then we're going to put the dispensers here. Oops. 
and knock this one out because it's going to have redstone here. The button's going to go right in the front. Now we're going to need a platform. Are you serious? You serious? Go away. All right, so let's run some redstone real quick. So it's going to come, whoops, it's going to come from behind it. Ah, poopy. And then up. So now it means we need to have a block right here. This is going to have redstone on it. And this is going to have a comparator right here. And a redstone. So now we can put our dispensers in, right? Well, first you have to have somewhere for the lava to push against. Because the lava is going to shoot out of the dispensers here. Fall down onto this row. But if you don't have a wall here, it's not going to go anywhere but onto the water and make it just stone. So what we're going to do is give it something to butt up against. So now we can put our dispensers here and put the lava in them. And two more. So now the lava is in all the dispensers. We can put our redstone back. Oh, comparator back. Now we gotta get redstone to these. You could put, if you wanted to, you can put the redstone on the back side, put repeaters into them. We're not gonna do that. We're actually gonna do it an easier way, which is also a smaller way. We're gonna put the redstone on top of these blocks, which will power down to the dispensers. I'll try and do this all without flying because you know it's kinda kinda difficult to see how you do it without flying. So there we have it guys. This is the finished product. I mean this is whoop this is it. All you do is come down here and run your redstone. I'll get out of here oh, this way. So we have a redstone on top, our water supply. Are you kidding me? Did I just do that again? Oh, let's try this again. Redstone on top, water supply. The lava is going to come out of the dispensers, hit here, drop down here, and create us some obsidian. Now, see why I left that open? Water's not going to come out makes it a lot smaller because you could bring it out another one but it just takes up space and wastes an extra redstone or two actually so I always put a bumper here like you've seen the, wa the lava came out sometimes that happens so let's give it a whirl click it boom obsidian now if you look up here there's still lava don't go mining that obsidian because you just get burned click this again and it sucks the obsidian in. So now you have an obsidian generator, or it sucks the lava in, I'm sorry. Now you have an obsidian generator just by using some redstone. If you have a witch farm, you have an endless supply of redstone, and you can make obsidian all day long as, as, until you run out of diamond tools to mine it. So, guys, here you go. This is the finished product. This is Double A with BAPC Gaming, and I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.